All right. Well, our final question tonight is on the the situation unleashed by the the Bank of Japan and the decision to uh, double the money supply uh, for for Japan. Something that we've now we, we've covered this on the website with the recent interview with Mike Billington and as as our viewers who have seen seen that uh presentation understand it's it is a complex situation but there seems to be an assumption within leaders of the Japanese government that somehow they can they can manage or control the quantitative easing policy somehow to the benefit of Japan based on uh, partially on past experience in the 1990s and uh, and also based in uh, in in my view at least and what Mike Billington presented a misunderstanding of the role of Japan within the current global context and as it was discussed in that in that video uh, that global context not only involves uh, providing providing the further uh, liquidity to um, to reinflate the economy as many in the West have been have been hoping and drooling over really but also the current role of Japan in uh, in the Obama policy of the, ins the for the encirclement of China as uh, Mike went through there they are currently uh, acting with the United States in setting up a radar system that would be part of the uh, the BMD defense system for for Asia, and the the further the further context is not only the continued deteriorating situation in the Middle East, which which is accelerating, and if I mean if you want to talk about a genocidal policy coming from this president, you really need look no further than than what has happened in the Middle East over his over his presidency, but. Uh, within within the the region of of the uh, of the Pacific, you have uh, you have incredible and unrelenting saber rattling on the Korean Peninsula, and while many in the United States and in other parts of the world have uh, put out the call to to chill the situation. Uh, to to calm down the rhetoric, and to calm and to put an end to military exercises that could potentially create that that could be the trigger for an incident, a misunderstanding. Still, this this situation is escalating. So, if you could if you could address this this very involved situation that ties, I mean, it, it, it involves both the, the monetary policy of the West as well as the war policy that we've seen uh, coming out, coming from the West and from Obama in particular. So if you could put that, put that in perspective. Well, first of all, you've got to realize that sometimes when you get threats like that out, that you have to question, is the threat really that important? Is it that serious? Is it going to be actually delivered as a result? And there are re reasons for this. Well, but there is a case, of course, the famous history that when the British monarchy succeeded in getting Bismarck out of the position of tra chancellor in 1890, the immediate first effect was that the process leading into the uh, new war involving Japan allied with Britain. And this war process continued all the way through to the end of World War II, as we called it. And we had hoped that the Japan would have learned the lesson 
as many in Japan said they had, as particularly in, on, in terms of their relationship to General MacArthur when it, he was the, in charge of this operation, peacemaking operation earlier. So it, we, first of all, we have to put a question mark as to whether this threat is really deliverable in any significant way. And I don't think we want to jump to conclusions to assume that Japan is going to do that, move in that direction. But first of all, there are political forces in Japan which may operate and may overturn that, that policy. We have a very curious situation in terms of the Korean situation. It's very ambiguous. We have China is now forced to react in a sense to the posture that this represents. I think that the thing we have to do, in rather than trying to defeat a specific threat of that proposed type, we have to say that if the United States were to dump Obama now and the citizens of the United States have excellent reasons which he, Obama has just presented them in terms of his uh, latest address to dump him. He has committed crimes. They could be called crimes. They are it's adequate basis for his impeachment for what he's done. He's proposed a policy which coincides with the British policy of mass increases of death rates of American people. That's what his budget cut means. He's going to kill a great number of Americans if he carries that program out. I think that's sufficient evidence for his expulsion from office. So I think the way we have to look at this is rather than trying to say how are we going to cope with these threats of various types, dangers and so forth, forget that. Let's make sure they don't happen. And when the time comes to deal with a threat, like someone in Japan wants to get in, in a, a direction with the conflicts with China, that's a stupid thing for anyone in Japan to even think about because that would be the extinction of Japan if they actually started it. I mean, China's weapons systems and so forth, you, you, what, you want to start a war there? What kind of a nut are you? I don't think the Japanese people want that kind of thing. And I think we, there, we should not overemphasize the fact that there are threats, and they are threats. They are threats coming from sources, known sources. How far, how successful those threats could be is undetermined. We do have to worry about it in the sense of t making sure we're taking precautions to avoid these kinds of threats. But I don't think we should get too sucked into this kind of thing. What we have to do is one job. We have to dump this president of the United States from its office now and then the, we, the shock that this presidency has given to the American people who had illusions about this president for a long time on his last term in office. I think dump this guy and go with Glass-Steagall immediately is the most popular thing going right now in the United States is Glass-Steagall. Glass-Steagall would save the United States and would set a precedent for rescuing Europe and other places as well. I think that's the view we should take. Don't just react to threats. React to what might be made possible by carefully thinking and, and dedicated people. Well, thank you very much, Lynn. Uh, thank you for joining us today. And uh, we look forward to hearing reports from what's coming up this weekend uh, over where you are. And uh, we'll look forward to hearing from you again in this context uh, next week. So. Thank you, Leandra, for joining me today, and thank you all for watching. Signing off. <laughs>